So my role is uh, I run our emerging media practice. Uh, so the focus is figuring out kind of what's coming next and understanding, uh, you know, where should we be placing bets, where should our clients be placing bets, um, and just helping both our teams and our clients to sort of navigate what's around the bend. In the very earliest days, when any the beginning of any sort of type of marketing could happen on mobile, you were there to watch that evolve. What are you What are you happy about in 2015? Because I mean, you know, the ride was bumpy all Lamar, but um, you've been in this journey. Now we're in 2015. What are you excited about? Yeah, um, you know, it's funny. I mean, you talk about um, you know the evolution of the mobile space, and I I was thinking back the other day. Um, you know, we were there early, uh, as you as you alluded to, um, and we always are pushing ourselves to be innovative and, and to push the envelope. And so I remember buying ads for um, Claritin on Palm Pilots, you know, in like I don't know, 99, 2000, somewhere in there, right? And like that was one of my first experiences, um, you know, getting into mobile. And it was one of the things that was so powerful about it is it was a it's it's super simple and super obvious, but those things are sometimes the most magical connections. And what we were doing is delivering ads for Claritin allergy medication, right? When the pollen count was high in your zip code, right? It's kind of a no-brainer. And on the device that you're looking at the weather for, right? And so to see that evolve from there to now, where here in 2015 we're getting to the point, like the promise of Beacon and micro location indoor targeting is it's not just I'm going to deliver that ad in the zip code I'm going to deliver that ad in the zip code while you're standing in the allergy aisle you know at the drugstore right um, and that sort of just ultimate contextual relevance I think um, you know we're not there yet um, from to get to that point yet quite um, but that's the promise, right? And I think we're starting to see sort of the building blocks that are gonna get us there. And that's what gets us excited is, you know, it's ultimately about right message, right time, right place. Um, and we're very close to getting, to realizing that vision. Something that I've had discussions with is, is that this concept of three tiers, you know, you have folks that just look at it, you know, look at a YouTube video, mm -hmm. download the free version of the app. And then there's that next level, whether they share the video, whether they, pay a penny for some in-app purchase and like. And then that's that third one that is the, the, the golden um, uh, customer, especially in, uh, uh, with uh, mobile gaming, which is the whale that will do everything, that will consume everything. Right. That will Make the in-app purchases. Yeah and, yeah, and for a YouTube video, it's not enough to share. They have to do a response video. Right. I mean, you sit in such a perspective from seeing the whole legacy to get us here and all the different companies that are pitching your life. Talk about engagement and that and this concept of three tiers. What do you see that in? Yeah, um, I think that's a, again, it's a really smart way to kind of frame it up, those, those three tiers. Um, and you know, it's funny when you think about the different modes of engagement, um, you know, and, and how we map those to KPIs. Um, you know, I think there's, a, there's this funny duality where it's like, people want to look at time spent as uh, a measure of success uh, in terms of the more time they spend interacting with my ad or my experience, um, you know, the better engaged they are. And, you know, in some cases that's true. If it's a, if it's a branded game or a long form video or, you know, those types of experiences where they truly are sort of interacting with the brand or consuming brand content over time, um, you know, that makes a ton of sense. But then there's others where it's like, I'm trying to buy a ticket, or I want to, you know, deposit a check via the, you know, the Bank of America application or the Citibank application or whatever it may be. And that should take me less than a minute, right? So there's this weird like time spent flips there, right? And so I think um, it's really interesting to look not only at the three tiers, but then how do you map those to the different KPIs uh, and, and make sure that they're laddering to whatever your business objective is, which I think is kind of particularly in the mobile space where. Measurement has been such a challenge historically, and people have been sort of developing their own uh, proxy KPIs uh, that may not map exactly to what they're used to in the sort of traditional digital space. Um, it's an interesting challenge to watch um, <clears throat> watch some of those not get all that well connected to the business objective, um, and we're always trying to push for that, right? Like, okay. Yeah, we can look at time spent. Yeah, we can look at click-through rate. But how do we ladder this to something that's really going to contribute to the bottom line?